first up is Mode and Store. These two instructions let you load any value into the A register and store any value from the A register into memory. They have two cousins each, Mode X and Store X, and Mode Y and Store Y. Next up is Transfer A to X and Transfer X to A, and its cousin, Transfer A to Y and Transfer Y to A. These instructions let you move any value from X to A and vice versa, same for Y. Now let's move on to conditionals. But before we do that, let's take a look at the bit instruction. This instruction acts like you did a bitwise AND operation to whatever is in the A register and sets the zero flag accordingly. This makes it especially useful for conditionals since it doesn't actually change the value in the A register. Next up, we have branch of carry set and branch of carry clear. These instructions jump to a certain part of your program if the carry bit is set to 1 or 0 respectively. Next, we have branch of equal and branch of not equal. These will jump to a different part of your program if the result of the last operation was equal to 0 or not equal to 0 respectively. Next is branch of minus, which jumps to a different part of your program if the result of the last operation was less than 0, or branch of plus, which does the opposite. Next we have branch of overflow clear and branch of overflow set. These will check the overflow flag and will jump to a different part of your program if the overflow flag is set or not set, depending on which one you use. Compare, compare X and compare Y let you compare the number that's in the A, X or Y register with an already known value and will return 0 if they are equal and not 0 if they are not equal. So you've seen all the conditional branching, but what about jump? Jump lets you directly jump to any part of your program. Jump has a best friend, that's jump from subroutine, who also has another best friend, return from subroutine. These two instructions let you jump to any part of your program and then return back to where you came from once you're done. Finally, we have return from interrupt, which is like RTS, but for an interrupt instead of a subroutine. Now let's move on to the status operations. Clear carry and set carry let you clear and set the carry flag respectively. Next is clear decimal and set decimal, which will let you clear and set the decimal flag, which turns off or on decimal mode. Next we have clear interrupt and set interrupt, which either stops interrupts from happening or allows interrupts to happen by clearing and setting the interrupt flag. Now we have clear overflow and set overflow, which lets you clear or set the overflow bit. Now that's great, but let's use the computer now for something that it was actually meant for. Max, add with carry and subtract with carry let you add or subtract numbers from the A register using the carry bit. Decrements and increments allow you to decrease or increase a specific value in memory by one. It has four brothers, decrement x, decrement y, incre increment x, and increment y. AND is an instruction that lets you do a bitwise AND with any value and the A register. Similarly, OR A allows you to perform a bitwise OR with any value in the A register. This is not to be confused with EOR, which allows you to perform a bitwise exclusive OR, otherwise known as a ZOR, with any value and the A register. Next, we have arithmetic shift left and logical shift right, which let you shift the bits in any byte left and right, respectively. This is like multiplying by 2 and dividing by 2, respectively. The cousins of these instructions are roll left and roll right, which let you do the exact same thing, except this time the carry bit gets shifted in as well. Now we have a bunch of stack instructions like push A and pull A. Push A lets you push any value from A to the stack, and pull A does the same thing but backwards. Now we have push processor, which lets you push the processor byte to the stack, or pull processor, which lets you read the first byte from the top of the stack and put it in the processor byte. Next we have transfer stack pointer to x, and we have transfer x to the stack pointer. This lets us directly manipulate the stack pointer value by transferring it to and from x. Finally, we have break, which lets us stop any operation and no operation, which means don't do anything. Now let's talk addressing modes, because there's got to be some way to add numbers to any instruction, right? For example, you can't just add nothing. First we have immediate addressing, which is symbolized by the number symbol. This means literally add the number 44, or literally add the binary number 01001010. Next we have zero page addressing, which is a very fast way for us to manipulate any address that has a high byte of 00. zero. The addresses from 0000 to 00FF are called the zero page, hence zero page addressing. We also have absolute addressing, which is when we want to access a memory address that isn't on the zero page we have to add another byte to the front. We can also offset these values by a certain number, for example x. 
So this is called absolute comma x addressing, and it allows us in this case to offset the value 4050 by x. So if x is 10, we will be reading from 4060. If x is 3, we will be reading from 4053. You can also offset a zero page address, in which case this is called zero page comma x addressing. You can also offset using the Y register instead of the X register. This is called comma Y instead of comma X. Sometimes in memory, there may actually be an address hidden inside. If you access that address, that is called indirect addressing. The version which you see in the screen right now is called indirect comma X. And indirect comma X allows us to offset the first address by X and then jump to the address that is hidden at that address. So here we have 4050 comma X and that allows us to move to whatever value is offset. So if x is 5, for example, we read from 4055. Take a look at the address that is at 4055, and then jump to that address. You can also offset using y, but in order to do that, you need to do the indirect jump first. So first we read from 4050, and then we see what address is there. We jump to that address which maybe let's for the sake of argument say it's 8102. If it's 8102 and y is 3, we will be reading from 8102 plus 3, which is 8105. That's it, I hope you enjoyed. Tortoise out. Please subscribe. Thank you.